action. Hello and welcome to the Solar Butterfly. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Solar Butterfly Studio. Today we are here in Tallinn in Estonia, and I'm here with Erki. And you're from CleanTech. Can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yeah, um, CleanTech Estonia is a non-profit organization that is doing everything in its power to find the very early stage uh, teams, ideas, ideators, like the scientist type of people that have their kind of sometimes ludicrous ideas how they want to change the world. Yes. Sometimes they're deep tech oriented or science based, sometimes they're not. And we are the kind of organization that helps to first find those people, those startups, those teams, then provide them with the first resources that they need, either looking for a new team, some business partners, clients, customers, but also funding, and then accelerate their growth to, to keep their impact growing. Mm -hmm. So example, this would be students maybe from the university yeah, here. Absolutely. And um, if they have an idea, you will uh, support them. And if it fix, fits this clean tech theme, then yeah, we will uh, support them. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, so what have you uh, had, uh, what, what companies are supported by you? So there, there's, for example, a building integrated photovoltaics company. So some people might know Tesla Roof when they kind of came out with the marketing, but Estonia's kind of beat it to the market. So they're producing well, very sexy looking solar, solar panels or actually roofing material mm -hmm. that you wouldn't have to use solar panels, okay. but just a very slick roof. But there's also hydrogen generators that are, that's now today in today's economy is a very important topic. How can you produce energy from uh, alternative resources? Yeah. yeah, so for example, you need these hydrogen generators, right? So we can, uh, we have an access of solar energy, for example, and then our renewable energy, and then we can convert this, store the energy, and this is yep. pretty useful. Okay, some, uh, some different uh, companies. Uh, yeah, you've, uh, how many have you had uh, so far? Um, we have, I mean, we have had hundreds of startups that have gone through. So yes. we, we run incubation programs, acceleration programs. We have a few entities that do that. Uh, but we have invested in or directed investments into 70 uh, clean tech startups. Out of them, 59 are alive. Mm -hmm. As you know, you know, startups yeah. might die at some point yeah. in time. Well, it's a, it's a good quote, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And the majority of those startups are operating in the either energy sector or novel materials. Mm -hmm. Materials development is on a very high level in Estonia. Mm -hmm. uh, or also mobility or agriculture and food, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a, the big one, but you, you are not restricted to these uh, sectors, right? You, everything no. that fits this theme uh, is uh, yeah, exactly. to be funded um, by you. Clean tech itself is not like a vertical, like fintech, for example, right? Or mm. med tech, me medical technology. So clean tech is rather like a horizontal or let's say a mindset, mm -hmm. right? So you can have fintechs that um, have like sustainability at their core that they're doing something more sustainable mm. um, than their competitors, for example. So we define clean tech startups as uh, what is the kind of the, the core idea, the core motivation and the incentives behind the team um, of their product or service. And mm -hmm. that's how we yeah. define it. And some companies like, for example, maybe um, uh, some investors are afraid of them because this is uh, sometimes a bit of a, a risky topic but um, you get them uh, and help them uh, to get up and running and with this these companies they can uh, they can start their the journey to uh, change the the industry they are there in and yeah help build a sustainable future and increase like yeah shares in renewable energies or mm -hmm. reduce waste and such things, right? Exactly. Um, with the clean tech startups also, for example, in Estonia, there's out of, we have like 90 to 100 clean tech startups on average, mm. or like basically in Estonia. Out of those, around 65% are developing something hardware. Mm -hmm. So clean technologies are pretty much all the times um, with some hardware component, yes. meaning that of course, the investors, the traditional investors, for example, in ICT sector, that is very strong in Estonia and in this region, they might not, the kind of hardware investment itself might not be that attractive. Mm -hmm. But what's also unique about us, once a startup become, comes to us and becomes our alumni or portfolio company, then we kind of manage the network of all those investors that kind of are looking for the hardware components, are looking for hardware investments as well. 
So they are not, not afraid of this larger or longer time span of getting a product uh, or getting a prototype to a product and then getting the product to the market. Mm -hmm. But it's just Estonian companies uh, or like uh, are you also Europe based? Um? Um, in Cleantech Estonia we have all our Estonian companies. Yes. Uh, well, some have also uh, migrated to, to other, other countries uh, where their main market might mm -hmm. be as well or main investors. Yes. Um, in Cleantech Estonia, yes, but we have another company called Beamline Accelerator, mm -hmm. which is operating on Central and Eastern European countries. Mm -hmm. So okay. that is concentrating on international scope of, of what we can do with our network and our impact mm -hmm. and, our potential and our investors in that region, like okay. international. So if a person that has an interesting idea for this, yeah, in this clean tech field, they can apply at your, at your like website, do you have a website? Yeah, absolutely. Um, clean tech Estonia itself, we just close around, but clean tech Estonia, we are running incubation programs, acceleration programs all year round. So people can apply, just keep, uh, yeah, um, keep their uh, kind of eyes on our newsletters and, and the social media. But Beamline Accelerator is more concentrated on the international kind of uh, scope. So there we run two batches per year with 10 startups that we take in. And there, of course, people who have great ideas definitely apply. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, very interesting. Thank you. And thank you for your attention. And until next time in the Solar Butterfly Studio, Goodbye. Thank you.